The unsolved problem for kindergarten comes from a very practical source, ImageNet. ImageNet holds annual competitions to help sort photographs on the internet. So for example, here we have on the left photographs of tetherball and on the right of tennis. You can imagine how difficult it is for a computer to sort one photograph from another. Well, this is the kind of thing that children in kindergarten do all of the time. They have to sort things. You want to collect this one? Okay, that's one. This one here? Okay, that's two. And do you want to collect another one? Or is that this one here? I think he's right. Do you want to collect any others? Yes, I think he's right. No? Okay, let's see if you're right. Just... And you're right. You got all three. I knew that. You notice that we use entirely appropriate language for a kindergarten classroom. I can't pronounce Tenebriona Day any better than you can, except that I've practiced. And that gives students an experience of an adult failing. And that is something that students should experience a lot in their K-12 education, both an adult failing and themselves failing. Your class will probably fail a few times in sorting out these beetles, and that's just life. Before the advent of DNA testing, that's how all life forms were sorted, just based on how they look. If you want to try this out in your own kindergarten classroom, then click on the screen now and you'll go to your own video. A big thanks to Dr. Udo Schmidt, whose beautiful beetle collection we are using here.